In this short video, we're going to answer the question of what happens when you need a symbol that maybe isn't amongst the thousands of symbols that already come with SoftPlan. In this case, maybe it's a custom freestanding bathtub. Uh, it may be something that's new on the market and hasn't yet been updated into our libraries. The purpose of this video will to take you through the simple, easy steps on how to do this. The first thing you need to do is obviously locate the symbol. Um, and so in, in many cases, these are provided by the manufacturer themselves. You will need a three-dimensional object that has surfaces and uh, preferably even the textures that they, they want to use uh, on that symbol. In the case of this video, I've located this bathtub freestanding in a 3D warehouse site that will allow me to download it and use it within the program. Once the symbol has been located, in this case the acrylic freestanding tub that I want to use, I simply need to download it from the web page for use within SoftPlan. I've created a folder on my desktop for where I may store files, in this case a Friday Fundamentals folder, and so at this stage I will simply save the file there. Once the file has been downloaded, I can now go back into SoftPlan and using our SoftPlan symbol wizard command, create not only the, the, the 3D version of this or import the 3D version of this, but also have the 2D version created. Switching back into the main floor plan, I'll select File, System Options, System Library. From the configure library, I'm going to click on bathroom, but in this case here, I'm actually going to add a, a library for where I'm going to put my freestanding tubs. And so in this case, I will just type in the name of the library and select OK. With freestanding tubs highlighted, I will now select the wizard option, which will allow me to give the tub a name. And this is really, you can name it by product code, um, or you could simply name it uh, by the, the name that you found on the website. And so in this case, I'm just going to type in, you know, the name of my symbol and select next. I do not have a plan preview of the symbol on my drawing screen, so in this case I'll select no and select the next option, which will allow me to import the 3D symbol first, and then from that 3D symbol I'll create the 2D version of it. So here I'll select the import 3D symbol, which will mandate that I need to now browse to find it. Upon selecting the browse option, I can select the Friday Fundamentals folder, select the uh, name of the symbol itself and open it. I can now determine where I want to place the 3D symbol. So in this case, once again, I'm going to create a library in my 3D listings for the symbol to be stored. Select OK. And at this point, the import process will begin. When the symbol is imported, holding down my mouse wheel, I can actually pan around and take a look at the symbol. It's what I was expecting, and so now I will select Next. SoftPlan will allow you to verify the views. Um, depending on how the symbol was created, it's possible sometimes that you need to reorient the symbol when you're bringing it in. In this case, I can verify that this is indeed the top and then the bottom, and, and, and for all intents and purposes, it appears that the front, left, right, and back are correct, and so I'll select Next. From here, I've got not only the 3D symbol, but I would, if there were multiple textures or I wanted to assign textures, I could go in and select what the colors or you know, options were going to be for the symbol to have them displayed. I would also be able to go into the actual options of the symbol itself and change the various options on the, the, the library as far as its you know, ambience, diffuse, opacity, etc. Once I've done this, I can select the next option, 
the dimensions are pulled from the symbol itself. For the most part, these are drawn or created uh, to scale, so there's not a lot to typically have to do here, but in the event that you wanted to change the default dimensions, you certainly could. Where the symbol is going to reference when drawn, okay, will allow you to um, be automate, if you will, the, uh, the, the, the symbol when it's placed. So if you want it to reference to the floor versus the ground or ceiling, okay, where you want to move that symbol. So if this was a picture or a mirror that you were importing, you might want to reference the floor but move it up X distance and so on. Finally, I will select the Generate option, which will now create the two-dimensional plan for me. And so as I generate that, it's a fairly simple option, obviously, so I'll click the Next option and now select Finish. As I come into the 3D Shaded, I can now edit this, select from my list of symbols that are here, so I'll actually scroll up to my bathroom, select my freestanding tub, and now import the new symbol. And that is just how easy it is to import a symbol.